Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, nice to see you again. We've got another shopping video for you today. So recently I've done some videos about buying aquarium stuff on Timu uh, and looking at some of the strange recommendations we've got. But a lot of the comments in that were, why aren't you buying things off Wish? You get better things on Shein. And so today we're going to do a bit of a comparison. We're going to do a shopping challenge comparing all the big sites, Timu, Wish and Shein. See what aquarium stuff we can get from them, how long does it take to get here, how good is it, what are the recommendations like. Let's set some parameters for the challenge. I'm going to use the three sites, Wish, Timu and Shein. So the three things that I'm going to use, because I can use more of them, is I want some thermometers, I want some float valves, and I want some magnetic aquarium cleaners. These are three things I'm always losing. I always think, where is it? Where have I put it? So if I buy more of them, I'll be happy with that. So the parameters for this is I'm going to search each of the sites for those things. And as long as I don't have to dig through pages and pages of stuff, the, the top recommendations I get for them, then we can compare the price and the quality and whether it's going to be any good. Check shipping times, how long does it take to get here? And then once we get it, is it any good? Does it work? Is it as described? All those good things. My preconceptions here is that I might get exactly the same products because I'm pretty sure they all come from the same factories in China. Um, so I probably will end up getting the same things. But still, I've had things on these sites before that have been way different to what they're actually described as. So we'll see how we get on. Let's dive in. So we'll start on Timu and I said I wanted three things. I wanted an aquarium thermometer. I actually want some digital ones so I'm going to go with digital which it has suggested up here. And so I've all already got this one here so I don't really want that one again. I just want your bog standard cheapy ones like these. So there we go. Um, Celsius Aquarium Thermometer Refrigerator Thermometer Electronic Digital LD Oh, there's all kinds of things happening here So £2.88 for one, is that? Yeah, I think that's for one uh, Free shipping Fine Add to cart That's what I want Select colour Okay, uh, I'll go for black Add to cart Done Right, next was I wanted aquarium uh, magnetic cleaner. So I want a kind of hefty-ish one. Let's go with this one. Why small, six pounds, medium's only four pound 29. Okay, we'll go with that one. Add to basket, done. And then the third thing I wanted was a float valve. And I want one with a little bracket on it, like this one, that's the one it is, because I want to attach it to the tanks. Add to cart, Timu, done. My cart on Timu is £15.75. Let's check that out and try Wish. Okay, so we're on Wish now. Let's try this. So same thing, same search terms. Aquarium digital thermometer. What can we find? We can get four pieces for £2.54, apparently, of the same type. Is that true? Or is that they will sell me for? Yeah, so one piece is £2.54, four pieces is £4.63. Uh, make it fair, we'll stick to one, add to cart, don't. But then we want an aquarium magnetic glass cleaner, a magnet cleaner, add to cart, add to cart and unlock a new price. So it's gone down to £2.91 in the cart. Bonus. And then the last thing was a float valve. And again, I don't really want to go for pages and pages. There you go, there's one there. £5.20 and it comes with a little stop valve. Super. Add to cart and unlock a lower price. £5.20 turns into £4.95. Bonus. So including shipping, Wish comes to uh, £13.39. So that Wish order, um, a bunch of promos came up when I clicked the checkout, so I ended up playing for the items and shipping was £12.87 in total. Right, on to Shein. Right, Shein, very much given off Timu vibes here. Um, lots of the same fonts and images used in the promotions and the coupons and stuff like that, but we will see. Right, Aquarium Digital Thermometer. £1.75 Fine Add GN's the only one that keeps trying to send me notifications through the website Not interested um, 
magnet cleaner. For, it doesn't autofill, so the search bar doesn't autofill, which is annoying the hell out of me. So another point down for Sheen on that one. Um, see if we can find the same one. Uh, there we go. That looks like the same one. Four pounds, fine. Seven fifty for a medium. Four pound for a small. Can I remember what I bought on the other ones? So I bought medium on Timu. So I guess I should buy medium on Sheen. Add to cart. Right, and aquarium float valve. Aquarium float valve, and they send you a fishing lure, a betta leaf, an absorbent moisture resistance mat. Okay, a fish scaler. Okay. Yeah, so Shen not doing quite as well. That is a float valve, but it's not the clippy on one that I want. Uh, I don't want to go through pages of stuff to find it. So it looks like we can't get that on shit. Okay, well, I do want a pH pen and TDS meter as well. I'm always losing that. Let's see if they've got any of them. Uh, they do. So a TDS meter, TDS meter. So hang on, one piece digital water TDS meter, pH meter. So is that a combined one? It says pH, but that looks like a TDS meter. It says TDS all over it. TDS is total dissolved solids. Um, if it only does one thing, I want it to do the pH. Digital pH, TDS, EC. Okay, again, it says it does all these things, but I don't believe it. That just looks like a pH pen. Right, fine, that'll do it. Add to cart. Blue. Right, after coupons, that's free shipping, which is good and a grand total of £11.06. Right, that's all three orders placed. I guess now we wait. So, nine days after all the orders were placed, we have two packages. Um, we've got the Wish and the Xien orders, which is quite a surprise because my experience from when I've ordered from Timu the first couple of times has been, it's been really fast compared to my experience with Wish and things like that. But anyway, they're here. To assess the packaging, it's just these kind of plastic bags, so the stuff's in there, so if it's fragile, it's got no protection. Say what you like about Amazon and its over-engineered packaging or massive boxes for tiny things. Nothing's getting damaged in an Amazon box because they really do put loads of padding and stuff in there, which you might agree with or not, but yeah, if it's going to get damaged, it's going to get damaged in one of these. But let's open them up and see. So if we take the Wish parcel first can do a bit of an assessment against everything that we ordered, how they got here. Inside the wish bag, we actually have each of the three things in another plastic bag for each of the things. Fine, a couple of them. One of them is like a bubble wrap thing. So there you go, that is the little digital thermometer. It's quite banged up and bashed, but seems to be all right. And already working, batteries included. These are quite simple devices. Little screen and little probe, you put them in there. Fine. Appears to be working. Next thing, that is the magnetic glass cleaner. Very hard to break that, so that's all right. And then the third and final one. I remember in my last team video, I was looking at the box of this, going automatic add water and hydrator. What the hell could that be? But it's the float valve. And just what I expected, it's the little uh, plastic clamp, float valve itself, and a stop valve. Everything arrived, everything works. Happy with that. Xien. Not sure if that's how you say it, but that's how I'm saying it. Uh, if I remember rightly, they didn't have the float valve, so instead of the float valve, I got the TDS or pH pen, and that's what that is. So no additional packaging for these ones. They're just inside the one plastic bag. But it's a pH pen with some instructions and some calibration fluid. Fine. Magnetic cleaner. Magnetic cleaner. It's bigger. Oh, I clearly got a bigger one in that version. So she ends winning with the size. Can't remember if I paid more for that or not, but yeah. This, I imagine, will be the thermometer. And it's just inside a plastic bag, so no box with that. But it is the same thermometer. And does work. So, okay. Fine. 
So, packaging, not great. Products, fine. I guess we just now need to wait for the Timu one and then we can compare all. Right, one more day later, the Timu parcel has arrived. So let's get that open. Again, it's just a plastic bag. Something's in a bubble wrap pouch though. And it is the glass cleaner. So that's slightly different to the same one, but it's the larger size again. Just a slightly different backing card, but yeah, it's exactly the same thing. Fine. We go the imaginatively named automatic add water and hydrator. Exact same packaging, exactly the same contents, the float valve, the clip, and a stop valve. And last but not least, the thermometer. Exactly the same one. Fine. Right, so we've got all our packages. I've just noticed that on the, <laughs> this version of the magnet cleaner, it says warm prompt. Do not close if wearing the pacemaker. What does that mean? Thankfully, I don't have a pacemaker. So I don't have to worry about not closing it warmly. Right, so after I've got all that, if I was to try and sum it up as an experiment to compare everything, it's a bit of a damp squib because I'm not comparing apples with apples because I've got different sized things. The small magnetic cleaner was from Wish. Um, I've gone back and looked at it and it doesn't say on there anywhere that it was the small one. It does actually provide the dimensions, so that's kind of on me that I got the wrong one. I should have looked at the dimensions. Um, but uh, confusing point off for that. Shein, I kind of writing that one off because it didn't have everything and that, that was almost expected. So whoever it was that suggested I use Shein in my next experiment, yeah, it's more of a clothing thing, I think, but it did have some things. So the most expensive one was Timu because that was £15.75 for everything. The magnet was £4.29, the thermometer was £2.98 and the float valve was £8.48. Wish was £12.87. The magnet there was £2.91, but that's because it was a smaller magnet, so I can't actually find a bigger version of this on Wish. They do seem to change the products all the time, so your mileage may vary. Uh, the thermometer, which is exactly the same, is £2.54, so slightly cheaper. And the float valve, which is exactly the same, was £4.95, so quite a difference on that one. Xien, the magnet, was um, £6.36, so a couple of pounds more expensive than the same version from Timu. And the thermometer was £1.49. So that was a pound cheaper. So prices are all over the place, that's what I'm saying. I also did a quick comparison on AliExpress. Very similar pricing. They were within a few pennies of each other um, of the cheapest versions of each of those. So if you want the absolute cheapest versions, then go on AliExpress. But that site blows my mind. Um, it's really hard to see compare prices because by the time you add something to your basket and by the time you actually get ready to check out prices are all over the place because they change them based on where you are and shipping and all that comes in right at the end amazon if you were to buy the versions of everything that i wanted so that size the float, same float valve same um thermometer same cleaner comes out at 22 pounds 27 now i will say that the magnet price was six ninety nine. the thermometer was £5.29, and the float valve was £9.99. So the float valve is neither here nor there, so I think it's about a pound difference, if that. Um, the magnet is a little bit more expensive, and the thermometer was quite a bit more expensive, but I have seen it cheaper, because if you go on Camel, 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 you can see the price history. But, crucially, Amazon, I would have ordered it one day and got it the next. So if you need it quickly, that might be the way to go. I also have one of the thermometers, I've noticed the screen's a little bit damaged because it was just in a plastic bag. That's how they shipped it. Um, it's not, doesn't stop it working or anything, but yeah, it could do. And Amazon will use cardboard boxes with some packaging. So you might get a little bit better there. In my last Timu video, lots of the comments were, oh, it's just Chinese government spying on you, it's just a data collection app, but spy it off Amazon instead. So that's why I included the Amazon comparison as well. But if you think Amazon doesn't collect your data and harvest it in some way, then maybe you should have this hat. So to sum everything up after all that, it comes down to what you need. If you need it quickly, Amazon's probably your best bet, eBay, something like that. The rest of them, it's the same tat from the same original source just packaged in a slightly different way so if you need that tat then yes you might get some value by shopping around in the various sites and um, the deals are the thing so there's always lots of 
offers and things like that going on on your wishes and your timus and all that kind of stuff. So you might get something you need. So if you're prepared to wait for it and you need the tat, then that might be for you. Final thought is that if I exclude the emails where they confirmed my order or told me a delivery was coming, um, Xien sent me four emails, Wish sent me seven, Timu sent me 17. If you like this kind of stuff, approximately 70% of the people who watch my videos aren't subscribed, so click that subscribe button, you won't miss anything in future. We do lots of aquatic videos here, not just shopping for tat on the internet. You might find something you like. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!